have you ever been affected by a story about adventure or something? Um, I have actually tons of times. Whenever I look back to my adventurous childhood, I can smile. When I was seven years old, I and my mother went to my uncle's house. Uh, since my my uncle doesn't have any cousins and any children or something, I have to I have to play by myself. So usually I read a book and then fell asleep. In the middle of the day, when I woke up, I felt like there was nobody in my uncle's house. At least I, I thought so. So, uh, suddenly I, one thought came across my mind and then, oh, my mother was gone. My, I need to find my mother and then I need to put my mother back to a position. So, <clears throat> probably I had that kind of stupid idea. It's probably because um, I just read about the story, which is about one girl um, took a long journey to find her mother. So I decided to find my mother, and then I went outside. And I walked. I kept walking and walking. <laughs> few years, a uh, few years, <laughs> years, few hours later, <laughs> I was tired and I was hungry, and I totally freaked out of everything, and then I got totally lost. Uh, fortunately, I met a police officer and then he took me to police office. And I was sitting on his chair eating ice cream. At this time, my mother came into the police office. Police office. Uh, on seeing me, she was suddenly cried out loud, out of relief. And frankly speaking, <laughs> I felt a little bit ashamed of my mother because she cried out loud <laughs> in the public places. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I found my mother and then my journey was ended like that. Now, that memory tells me that how brave I was at the time and then how easily I can be affected by a story, one stupid story or something, and most importantly, how much my parents loved me. That's it. Thank you.